Hello again and welcome to the Suffolk Regiment Living History Society presents uh, Passing Information. This is a really uh, quick video um, just coming on the back of the last one on platoon attack and it's also preparatory for um, a little series we're going to do on various types of patrolling so it should be one or two videos coming out about that in the next couple of weeks. Um, so without further ado let's quickly move over. So the importance of passing information is taken from uh, Infantry Training Part 8, um, same manual we've been working through in the last few videos. Um, it's really important when there's a contact or when um, section commander, platoon commander, patrol leader, whoever it is, comes into contact with the enemy or observes the enemy, that they send back the correct information to uh, their superior so that the correct plans, uh, plans can be made using the, all the information that's to hand. So the PAM, it details a few um, parts of uh, the information that um, are wanted and, and what, what that information should look like when it's passed. So the first one is where the enemy is, pretty self-explanatory. Um, that would also include details of, for example, if he's in a building, is he behind a wall, um, hedges, is in the open, stuff like that, is he dug in. What he consists of, so is he an infantry force, has he got armour, is he, um, I don't know, is there artillery in evidence, etc., etc.? What he is doing? Is he dug in? Is he leaving? Has he just arrived? What the ground is like? Really important one, as you saw in the platoon attack video, where you've got the uh, undefended defile that uh, the platoon makes its way up. Um, this one, um, you know, what the ground is like. If it's broken um, and there's an approach to the position, that's really important for the platoon commander or the company commander, whoever it is. Who, who's being reported to, to know what that ground is like and it'll help him with his planning. Equally, if it was open, for example, he'd need to know that because that's going to affect uh, affect what he does. Where our own troops are. So if it was, say, a patrol that had gone out, um, they might be the only troops in the vicinity, but it might be that actually um, that patrol's um, gone out and located the enemy very close to our, our own lines. So very uh, important piece of information. What they intend to do, that's the friendly troops. Um, for example, section might be pushed forward, come into contact with an enemy who's unobserved. They might think they can overwhelm that enemy on their own without waiting for the platoon. Um, so they might report back that their enemy in strength in small numbers, um, there's a gully on the left, they're going to move up that gully and assault the position. Enemy is dug in, for example. Uh, what troops on the flanks and what they intend to do kind of falls out similarly to E. Where our own troops are so do we have any troops around us um, or are we pushed forward in isolation um, what losses have been inflicted upon the enemy it might be for example that uh, that section that's pushed forward moves and attacks the enemy um, initially thinking it can overcome it but subsequently discovers that uh, the enemy is a much greater strength than originally um, believed so it sends back another report um, stating that it's not possible to um, overwhelm them, for example. Um, so they report what's been lost. It might be that they've observed um, enemy bombing or they've observed the uh, results of an artillery barrage equally. Um, really important this one, what losses have been suffered by our own troops, personnel and material, and this is approximate again. Um, really critical, obviously, it might be that uh, a formation that's forward that's reporting back has suffered um, manpower losses and that that's actually the primary um, concern of the person that's being reported to rather than um, overwhelming that enemy. It might be that uh, withdrawal of that section, that company, that platoon, whatever it is, is more important and more critical. And then what prisoners have been captured? Obviously if there are prisoners they'll need to be dealt with appropriately. So that's the importance of passing information. Um, really easy, really simple, pretty self-explanatory, but there's a few things in there you may not have thought of. So when out patrolling or um, moving forward as a body of men, you can interact with the enemy, you find the enemy um, and you need to pass it back to your one up um, or two up, then this is the format of the information that you should be passing. OK, a few of you have asked for some um, photos of the group, what we do. So I've just uh, chucked a few of those in here for you to have a quick look at. As ever, our reference for this video has been Infantry Training Part 8, Fieldcraft, Battle Drill, Section and Platoon Tactics. I've left the links up there for the Section and Platoon videos 
Um, as I say, this is relevant to both of those, particularly for the platoon, but also for the section when sending runners back to uh, report to platoon HQ on, on section movement. So some really good videos, recommend you watch them. If you want to find out more, please look us up on suffolklhs.com, Instagram or Facebook. Thank you very much.